Hi, I'm Brittany Buckholtz Montez, and this is the Orlando Health News Review for August 30th. Are you one of the many drivers who take I-4 to work on a daily basis? Even if your commute doesn't include I-4, you probably heard about the construction on the 21-mile makeover from west of Kirkman Road in Orange County to east of State Road 434 in Seminole County. We talked to the team working on this project to see how team members might be impacted. So we're about two and a half years into our six and a half year complete reconstruction of 21 miles of I-4 right through the heart of downtown Orlando. Uh, work is really starting to evolve in the downtown area, but we are expanding both north and south. So we're working as far north as State Road 434 and all the way south as far as Kirkman Road down by Universal Studios. So uh, we are working all 21 miles at one point and, and the, the construction's evolving. We have a unique system on our website where you can sign up to receive a personalized text or email. You can go in and customize that information and receive everything you need in the palm of your hand to let you know that hey my usual drive is okay or maybe I need to take my plan B or plan C today. So I manage Rethink Your Commute, a program of the Florida Department of Transportation where we promote smart transportation solutions for Central Florida's workforce. So that's things like carpooling, riding transit, biking, walking, and more. Now we are actually working with Orlando Health, specifically at the downtown campus, with a carpool parking preferential program. So if you're carpooling to work, stop by the security office in Garage D, pick up one of these carpool parking lottery forms, get yourself into the mix. We've got 15 prime parking spaces. One of the great benefits that we offer, not just for carpoolers, but for people who ride transit, or bike or walk to work, is our free emergency ride home program. We will actually pay you back for the cost of a taxi, a rental car, or mileage if someone comes and takes you home. And our team is pretty excited about this next story. The Internal Communications Department was recently awarded with a 2017 Apex Award for Publication Excellence for the Orlando Health News Review, an award that recognizes excellence in publishing by professional communicators. Stay tuned for another News Review milestone next week when we celebrate our 200th episode. Are you all in to team member giving? For nearly 100 years, Orlando Health has proudly served those in need in the Central Florida community. As a dedicated member of the Orlando Health family, Team Member Giving directs your financial support to the area of your choice and benefits both our patients and your fellow team members. The Orlando Health Foundation's Team Member Giving campaign, kicking off September 1st, provides team members with a way to give back to the organization and make a gift that supports key initiatives and programs at Orlando Health. This year, if you make a one-time gift or one-year pledge, you will receive an Orlando Health lunch bag. And if you make an ongoing gift, you will receive an Orlando Health lunch bag and tumbler. Give it any amount and you'll be entered into a drawing for a chance to win prizes. Every gift makes a difference and we ask that our Orlando Health family participate in this campaign to help us achieve the goal of 5,000 team member philanthropic donors. Be all in by visiting orlandohealth.com slash team member giving. That's it for today's edition of the Orlando Health News Review. Thank you for making Orlando Health the best hospital possible. See you next week.